What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Coast M Fishing. Today is Sunday, pretty late, maybe about 6.35 actually, on the dot. Uh, yesterday was Diwali actually, came home pretty late from one of my partners, reached home like after 12. Wasn't sure if I was coming fishing this morning because I had no bait. But I say, you know, it's Sunday, I haven't fished in a long time in shore. I'm going to at least give it a try. So I'm going on the kayak today, hopefully. I have my artificials, but I'm just going to stop quickly by the bridge here. Because I really want to get some bait to fish because I really want to catch a fish. So I'm going to do a one cast if I see some mullet. One and done. If I get two mullet, fantastic. I also throw some net when I reach by the wall by Carnage there, see if I get any live bait. Other than that, we'll be throwing around artificials for a couple hours. If we catch anything, it will be a successful mission. I just want to feel a fish on the line in show. So you'll see how it goes. I'm going to take a quick walk. Not sure how it's supposed to be by rivers, whatever the case may be. So quick walk on the bridge. If I see some mullet, make a throw, throw it in the bucket, head down the road. Hopefully fishing by seven, about two hours to fish, catch one or two fish. Fish on. So guys, I'm making a quick run here. Just hoping to see one school of mullet. Make one quick throw and bust it. I got two more that's self a real good. Hmm. Just my luck. Not a sign of a mullet. Alright guys, so I just taking a walk along the little boardwalk area here. See I'm quite far away from kayak center which is over there. Looking for bait in the water. Now see some flashes here, look there's some real small bait. But anything I take it right now, all I have is like some two year old something in a bucket. I don't know where I find it from, but I really need to get some bait. Alright, guys, I finally out. I try what happened. I want to get some bait. No luck. So I'm going to throw a little 10 gram scoop jig for as long as I could. Fishing in this kind of pack is be a little hard because it's with your shoulder on my shoulder. I don't know how long I could do it for, but I'll try until I can't. I have some kind of bait there that I had in my freezer for about, I'd say about minimum a year. I don't know even what it is, herring, joshua, red sardine, whatever it is, then I book it, so I will try it. Just need to catch one fish, and we could slice up that one fish, whoever it is, and keep one fish. Water is already a little choppy, as you can see. So you know your boy not going far. So I'll pick you up and we start the fish. Okay guys, as I said, I have no kind of bait, so I'll start with artificial. A little, I think it's 10 gram, 15 gram jig. Cast it as long as I could. And then sink to the bottom, jig, jig, jig. Target is anything that wants to take it, yes? I really can't fish for too long artificial in the car because of the angle, sit down, get low. Any fish I catch, I'll have to cut it off if I catch anything. I'll start off with the jig, might think about a spoon, soft plastic. We'll see how it goes. I have the one year old bait. Was on solid. We will try that as much as we Come on, Karanga plane, lane snapper, Jack Cavalli. Something now jump behind the guy, I can't a fish all the way. So let me see what we're working with here. Hmm, it looks like hard back. Smelling real good. I have no idea where this is from. But, I'm going to give it a try. Super soft. Who oh, is this fella here? Yay! Oh, cut 
top of you make fresh and use a cut for bit. They are very soft. Hi right, guys, I shifted the locations a bit. Trying the old rotten bait now. Um, this can't really ask special long in this low kayak boys really hurt your shoulder. This bait is not very good, but we still gonna give it a go. Chop up about 10, try it out for fresh. Have the running line here on the caster. And there's a banking line with two hooks. If we get any bites, I will be amazed. If we catch a fish, even more amazed. But out here fishing, the water a little choppy, but still happy to be out here for sure. Now you see if we could put a fish in two in the boat. A couple of red fish, love being lane snappers, valiac, salmon, rakando, anything we take in, preferably not catfish. The bait is not the best, so currently be too too picky. I catch a small salmon, I slice in the top. Um, any kind of small shit I could slice up, again slice up. I'm sorry for them today, but we need some fresh bait. So, once I get a bite, switch back on the camera. Hopefully, I have a fish on the line. Again, a small bite right now, actually. Whoa. Real small, though. My man is busting through them wheels like no seam. No, I'm nice fish on that side over there, but he was looking at the camera, so I had a little cross here now. Over there looking calm and here looking like chop central. Christmas seas, so those stay calm for long and I was late today. Wasn't sure what I was going to do. About an hour and a half on the water. I was still along as long as I could. I'm pretty close to shore. So no no real worries. And you guys worry about if I capsize my equipment, my GoPro, my phone, that kind of things, my rod and reel. Guys I'll be all skeptical. After the pier I could swim to shore. Hopefully. Alright guys. So let me pick up my hand line here. What I'm thinking is a bad start. Feeling eelish and I don't remember I forget my pliers in the car. Fudge. What a start. So we gotta chop you out. Cut me pliers by Bro, well again, I hope to go with Tell everybody again a face man. If they could calm down Damn it I have just enough line to put on our next hook on this meter Alright guys, I was about to go pick up this small rod I mean, fish What else are they getting real choppy? It's like getting to right out Open, this is not a catfish there's a good fish I want for sure, why not you Oh, it is a catfish. I made no um, pliers. I'm gonna swim around a little bit. I'll organize the green even shallower. But our water. What? Just my luck. The one day I want to come out. Well, I guess that will happen often coming into these end of the year here so we gotta expect it all right guys hooked up to a nice fish in the shallows here very shallow this is short right there i was just cutting up making fresh hoping it's a good fish come now be a waliak this can't be a catfish pulling so hard come now man one waliak to go and make a little breakfast looking like a cat Wait. You wicked boy catfish boy. And we are fishing shallow so chances of getting these guys is quite high. But you know hope is always still there for a good fish. Karanga playing in we shallows. No pliers so we had to hold him. Be careful. Remember this this fin and two side fins are very dangerous. If this have you you will be in a lot of pain. So that is the grip. Suggest you get a pliers. I just forget my need car, the car right there, but go away. Could I be a red fish or someone or something? Okay, I'll pull. And this water is terrible boy. Wow. Coming so shallow to try to avoid it, but I can hear that breeze blowing. Singing. Literally singing off my running back. 
hook them guy or oh. hook them guys but this one feels like a cat real shallow so you can see them short yeah it's catfish man but I'm making real fresh here so I'm bringing in everything these guys must come as well this one blind out of it the one of these catfish you can treat to it uh. hey well done oh, well, yeah. Alright guys, next fish. This one didn't bite like a catfish to be honest. But of course it is. Good fish here guys. This cannot be a catfish. Let's hope it stays on. It's gonna bite on the hand line. In the shallows. About to rack up. Could this be a karanga fling? There's a small one. I can release it. There's a reds. He gonna get cooked. Better not be a catfish in the shadows. Oh, what the hell is that? Rakando or something? Rakando! <laughs> nice one. Has our boat or a cup, yes? That'll give you our next 15 minutes. Yes! Didn't think I had a boat no string out today. I guess I did. So I guess I'm neat, guys. You might a nice little fight here, real shallow. So you can't really go anywhere far. But he pulled nice. I know it was not that. And I was getting a nice bite on the, the caster too at the same time. Swim around here, bro. Alright guys, we last time we fish on come out a little further. About maybe 20 to 30 feet. Trying for our reds for 10 minutes and we go inside. I come out, the water kind of calm down. I come out here and it's feeling back rough again. <laughs> but we go and try them. So we're making some fresh and we're hoping we can attract our fish pretty quickly. Okay, so let's go a nice bite on the small rod. Hold our fish get away. The last water is rough for the last five minutes out here. Ah. That was a good fish. That had to be a snapper. A strike and I don't know how we didn't get hooked. Oh. This is a decent fish. This can't be an Elgato. Fighting like this. Be a little lean snapper, no? <laughs> the next side. Maybe this is the same fish I get away from the rod. Come on, take this. If this is a catfish, wow. That will be disappointment. Whoa, Karangas! Oh my goodness! Fell out right there, boy. A Karangas, boy. Good eating fish, boy. Crap. That one hurt. Alright, guys, hooked up on your small rod. Drag is not working too good. Thought this is a catfish. Could be a karangas. I've taken that. I love to eat karangas actually. The drag in this rod is terrible. Oh my, it's a cut last fish. And I don't have more pliers. What are you gonna be eating? Hmm. Tell yourself all whole now. I might as well take my this now too. Small guy, but we come for food. So, sorry bro. Bleed him one time. I'll take one more drop. Because them has traveled many people together. Alright guys, possible next cut last fish here. Let it 
Ah, but in schools. Very easy to bite off the hook. You let them on the anchor line. Whatever it is. Just threw back all this line. Took up on the anchor line. Gently trying to take it out. Could be a cutlass. Pulling. I just really like to see what it is. This is our tree pomerates. Pretty close right now. Or is that eel or what the hell is that way? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, please don't follow. Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is a nice fish. La! That is a big waliak. I swear to this thing, we're just pulling so hard. Nice fella! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some rotten herring. Rotten herring? Yeah, yeah, all in the freezer. Matthew, that's you? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? I'm trying, I'm trying, yeah, rough waters today, boy. Yeah, you see how shallow I stay into this? <laughs> you get anything? Yeah, boy. yeah, the water was real rough, boy. Hard to fish, boy. Yeah, it was hard today. I was not about to head out, head home. How long you out there? About half seven, I came out. How much you get? This and real catfish and a rakando. Yeah, but it. Water was bad today. So that's Trini Adventure Seekers over there. Check out his videos. Some of the best on YouTube right now. Local content. All right, guys, this fish is nine, 18 inch redfish. Paliak, lane snapper. All hey. right, guys, Trini Adventure Seekers, Matthew <laughs> and Lovey. Great videos on YouTube. Make sure to check them out. These are redfish, Paliak. Nice. Yeah, boy. Right here, the snow is crazy. <laughs> I tell it as far as we can. Big fish right there. Right here. Yeah. If you want some rotten hair and you could take some, I have all bucket in. I go and throw it out after, so you could. You're free to have as much as you want. Where you catch your money here? And... Yeah, that's all I have. I try for like a half an hour. Someone to catch bait, but I didn't catch any. All right, guys. So after a long struggle out here, catfish after catfish, we get here a candle that make me stay out extra 15 minutes. The extra 15 minutes really pay off. That is a big lane snapper. That is two and a half, close to three pounds. Two and a half, we'll give him two, two and a half. 18 inches. It is a big one. He's looking big on camera because he's selfie shot, but he big. I'll show you him here. Wait. See him there? That's one and two 18 inches right here guys in the shallows so i have five minutes again because of that and i'm gone because all right okay fish on all right guys what's that it was a tough mission turned out to be pretty successful i didn't have no time for the catch and cook on the shore today spending time fishing i think it paid off that is a big lane i think that's bigger than the one i caught last time Whew. he pulled real hard boy on that caster so successful mission. Thanks for watching guys. Big one guys, big one. 
So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Post and Fishing, Fishing the Kayak again. And sure, much more to come. Thanks as always for watching. Keep fishing, fishing. Fish